So Kurt, we were chatting earlier about the difference between coaching and consulting. And I don't see a lot of difference. I see a lot of coaches who have to start consulting and I see a lot of consultants who have to start coaching. What is your take? Well, that's a great question, Ted, because often I'm asked, how do I start with the client? Do I get hired as a coach? Do I get hired as a consultant? Probably about 30 to 40% of the time I'm brought in as a coach initially, you know, 50, 60%, maybe 70% come in as a consultant, uh, but one often leads to another. I think when it, when it comes to the consulting space, there, there is typically a problem that needs to be solved. I, I work in the space of culture, uh, you know, strategic planning, organizational design. If somebody's having a challenge, uh, within a team, uh, there's an issue that they want to wrestle with. There's a problem they're trying to solve. And so uh, they're really banking on my expertise around organization, culture, uh, structure. To me, that's more of the consulting space. Coaching, on the other hand, it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's more about uh, being a guide uh, with, with the client. Now, my experience is that tr traditionally in, in classic executive coaching, it's a lot of hmm, it's a lot of reflective listening. It's a lot of asking questions. That's perfectly acceptable as a paradigm when it comes to coaching, not my style. We typically found to interject, to be directive. Hey, this is what I want you to do. It's be a guide that inserts when it's appropriate, um, but it's much more one-on-one -on -one relationship versus the systemic. The systemic to me is consulting. The one-on-one -on -one is the coaching. So the coaching of helping them slowly find their way I'm hearing you say maybe less effective, especially in an executive setting. Sometimes you just need to say, hey, you need to do this, right? Yeah. I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Coaching came out of therapy. Okay. But it's not therapy. And even in ICF, in its classic 11 core competencies, they're great competencies. Uh, but my experience is most people that come out of those kind of certification programs, they're great question askers. They're great listeners. They're great at, at being uh, affirming and empathetic and present. And that certainly is key. Uh, but if you've got an executive who's going into a higher powered meeting that's negotiating an acquisition or a merger, um, sometimes they need a script and they've hired you to be a guide. Mm -hmm. and sometimes the guide says, look, here's a framework I want you to think about. Here are four points that I think are really relevant for you to make. And so they're asking you to help them be successful. And sometimes my experience is being su successful means to insert yourself and being a little bit more directive than I think what classical coaching uh, would encourage. Got it. Super helpful.